as we know if we want to communicate between two networks we need a router but if we want to communicate between two host in a single network then we need a device that may be a hub or maybe a switch but hub does not have memory but switch have a memory in which switch learn mac addresses of connected devices for example if have two pcs and we want to communicate between them so we need a wire or a cable we use this cable for communication between these two pcs but in case we have a lan in this lan we have multiple pcs and we want to communicate between all these pcs then we need a central device all pcs are connected with this central device and data will flow via this central device between these all connected host so this device is a layer 2 device that work on mac addresses this device does not understand ip addresses it means this is not work on l3 devices a device like router that work on ip addresses and that can understand the ip addresses that devices are work on layer 3 but switch and hub is working on mac addresses so these are l2 devices but hub but switch is far better than hub but why because in case this is our central device these are some host as you know hub does not have a memory but switch have a memory in which it contain a table that is mac address table this table this table's name is cam contain address memory table this cam cam is saved into this switch for example this pc wants to send some data to this pc in the case of hub hub does not know about the mac address of this host or any other host so every time this pc wants to send some data every time hub broadcast all packets it means all packets are sent to all other host but in case of switch switch know about mac addresses so switch send only this pc it means switch perform unicasting at the beginning switch perform broadcasting but after learning the mac address switch start unicasting but in case of hub hub always broadcast the packet it never unicasted the packet these all functions are l2 switch functions switch also available in other format that are l3 switches that perform or that work like router also it means l3 switches works like switch also and works like router also when switch receives a packet on its one interface or first interface it switch this packet to other in interface it means this is in interface or this is out interface when switch receives a packet on its in interface it 
switch or it replicate that packet on out interface that's why it's it's called switch because it perform switching of a packet l3 switches perform switching as well as routing these switches are the configuration of these l3 switches are not part of ccna so here we we discuss about l2 switches first after completing of configuration in l2 switches we move or we switch to l3 switches so the first thing to learn is l2 switches actually switch performs three major tasks or you can say switch performs three functions the first one is address learning second thing is forward or filter decision the third one is loop avoidance now we discuss about one by one the first thing is address learning as i already mentioned switch have a table that is cam table in this table switch have all mac addresses of connected devices for example this switch is connected with this host that may mac address is a for example i am taking mac address for this host is a for this host i am taking mac address as b this is c mac address this is d mac address and this is e mac address now a wants to send some data to d in this case a send some data to this interface or port of switch this port receives the data of from this host in this frame or in this data when switch receives this frame on this interface in in this frame switch found the mac address of the source that is a and the destination mac address is d source mac address is a and destination mac address is d now switch look for its cam table but at the beginning cam table is empty it means switch does not found destination mac address on the cam, cam table in the case when switch does not found mac address of destination in cam table then switch broadcast that packet it means in this case d is not exist in cam table so switch broadcast this packet this packet is broadcasted on each and every port or interface now this interface also receives this packet this interface is also receive this packet but for this interface or this host this packet is not for this host so this not this interface or this host does not reply for this packet but this destination checks the packet and found this packet is for me so this host replies to a reply sent to this interface now again switch receives a packet on this interface that is reply by d to a it means this host sends it means source for reply is d and destination for reply is a now switch receives a packet on this interface switch opens that packet or that frame 
and found the source is D and destination A. It means now the switch checks the cam table again. When, when A send a packet to this interface at the beginning, switch make make an entry or create an entry in cam table that is MAC address A is connected my, to my F is 0 by 0. Now at the time of reply, switch receives a packet on this interface and check the cam table. In the cam table, it found an entry that is A is connected to F is 0 by 0. So now switch perform unicasting for A because the destination is A and the entry for A is found on cam table. Now the switch perform unicasting and send data to exactly A and create a new entry that is source D. D is connected to my this interface. For example, this interface is FA0 by 1. So it create FA0 by 1 this entry on cam table. I'm taking another example for better understanding of this scenario. These are two interfaces. This is host Y and this is host Z. This is interface FA one by one. This is interface FA one by two. Now Y wants to send some data to Z. And this is another interface or another host that is M. This is a cam table that is empty at beginning. Y send some data to this interface. In this data or in this frame, the source is Y. Destination is Z. Now, when this packet receives on this interface, the first switch creates an entry that is y is connected to my this interface that, that is fa1 one by 1 now it checks for destination address in cam table because switch know this packet is received on my this interface it means this the source is connected to my this interface switch know about that if a packet is received on my this interface it means there is a host that MAC address is source MAC address so it create an entry in MAC table or you can say CAM table but switch at this time switch does not know about destinations MAC address so it broadcast the packet all PCs or all host receive that packet but only Z replies for that packet. In this reply Z write the source is Z in the reply source is Z and destination is Y. So again switch receives a reply on this interface it means this interface is connected with source MAC address. It means switch creates a new entry that is Z is connected to my FA 1 by 2 and send and destination is Y. Now switch checks cam table for Y. Y is located on FA 1 by 1. So now switch perform unicasting and switch that particular packet to this interface only this packet is this reply is not broadcasted this reply is, is only unicasted now again if m wants to send some data to z then in this case the source is m and destination is z packet received received on this interface now switch creates a new entry that is m is connected to my 
f is 1 by 3 interface for example this is f is 1 by 3 switch receives a packet or frame on this interface it means this interface is connected with source address that is m it means m connected with this interface so it creates an entry that is m connected to this interface and it looks for destination address that is z z's entry is already created in cam table so switch performs unicasting on this interface this is a whole scenario or, or whole process for address learning in switch now the second function of l2 switch is forward or filter decision as i already discussed when a frame is received on an interface of switch the switch looks at the destination hardware address then choose the appropriate exit interface for it in the database as in this case it looks for the destination address in the cam table and decide which is the last exit interface this is the this decision is take by switch only the next switch function is loop avoidance if multiple connections between two switches are created for redundancy purpose network loops can occur for example, there are a LAN, there are two switches are connected in a single LAN. These PCs are connected with this switch 1. These PCs are connected with this switch 2. This switch 1 and switch 2 are connected with a single cable. This is A. This is B, C and D. They are a host MAC addresses. They are connected with each other and they can communicate via these switches. But in case this cable is broke down, then A does not communicate with C and D and B also and vice versa. So for the redundancy, companies or any LAN owner have or create two links between two switches but if we are using two cables in between switches there is a chance to make a loop for example a packet is received on this interface at the beginning where when the cam table is empty for both switches this packet is broadcasted so now this packet is gone to this cable it means this switch of this interface of switch 2 and this packet is also broadcasted so it means this packet also sent to this interface of same switch if this packet is sent on both interfaces it means this packet received by this interface also and this packet the same packet is received by this interface also this interface receives this packet and this cam table is also empty for switch 2 it means this interface also broadcast the same packet the same packet broadcasted it means the switch 2 also send the same packet on this interface also now this interface is connected via this cable so same same packet is go to this interface also it means a packet that comes from switch 1 go to here this switch also broadcast the same packet and this packet is goes to switch 1 again again this packet is received by this interface it means 
this interface again broadcast because the cam table is empty it means this interface also sends the same packet on this interface also it means this interface is connected via